Meridian Tonight, previously known as Meridian Broadcasting, is a holder of the ITV franchise for the south and southeast of England. Meridian operates from Whiteley in Hampshire, producing regional news and current affairs programs, in addition to occasional network productions for the ITV network. Today I'm going to be visiting Meridian to find out a little bit more about how news is reported and how news is gathered to go on to the program. Hello there, welcome to Meridian Tonight. I'm stood outside the ITV Meridian studios in Whiteley where I'm going to be making a documentary on what happens before everything gets put on TV. My name is Robin Britton, I am the head of news for ITV Meridian, uh, which is the uh, ITV franchise that covers the South, South East and Thames Valley from Weymouth up to Banbury in Oxfordshire and across to Margate in Kent and all the way along the South Coast. What are your main sources for gathering news and information? Main sources of gathering information really are the stories of the people that watch the programme and, and write in and email us and tell us what's going on. We also talk to the police and councils um, and private companies will send us emails and press releases and that sort of thing. Increasingly it happens to be the internet, social media, obviously local newspapers, we listen to what's happening on the radio, so we have good contacts out in the community. So. Really, we've got our eyes and ears open all of the time. Later on, I caught up with Simon Parkin. The lovely weather last week. My main sources are the Met Office. All weather on all channels should be the same because it all comes from the same place. Us and the BBC use the Met Office. We have access to, um, obviously, the Environment Agency for situations that we're in at the minute when we've got a drought situation, they're the ones that are in charge of, the Met Office are in charge of the stuff falling out of the sky, the Environment Agency are in charge of what happens when it lands on the ground. But how do ITV ensure their news is told differently to South Today's? Well, we, we, with our news we, we tell it as it is basically, we try not to put any kind of slant on it at all, we try not to be political in any way, we just try and tell the story straight if we can, honestly if we can. I think we just set our own agenda. I don't think I'm a conventional news reader. ITV have never ever shied away from personality. So if there is a story which we think warrants a reaction, maybe it's a reaction that the viewer will share. We're not afraid to kind of um, you know, have a laugh or joke about it or maybe just raise our eyebrows. And if it's a story with a bit of humour in it, so much the better because it means that Sangeeta, Barbara and I off the back of it uh, can react accordingly, but I think with, with news you've got to be straightforward, you've got to be honest and tell it as it is, and I would say that BBC would be, would be the same. I then spoke to Hannah Green, a newsroom journalist, to find out how she collects her news and information. Right, well, my name's Hannah Green and I'm a newsroom journalist here at ITV Meridian. What does your job role involve doing? Well, as a museum journalist, I have very many different jobs because I do shift work here, so it changes on a day-to-day -day basis. But at the moment, I'm working on the website, which is ITV's live stream site. It's only been live now for about six, seven months, and it's a very new service that we do here at Meridian because television is very multimedia nowadays. So whenever we get a story that comes in, um, for example, we've been working on today a lot of the Jubilee things. We've got the Jubilee and, and reporters out across the patch about the, the Royal Jubilee weekend. Um, we break it on the website first, and then we put it on Twitter, Facebook and we service a whole other audience as a result of that. So now hopefully you have a better understanding on how news is collected, who reports it and how ITV turns the ideas into a big headline story.